today I'm going to be making music in Guitar Hero, specifically Guitar Hero 5. So for anyone who is not aware all of the later Guitar Hero games, I think starting with Guitar Hero World Tour actually came with a music maker which you could use to make your own songs. You can play those songs back with the Guitar Hero instruments. Now from what I can remember it is pretty much impossible to make anything that sounds good with this music maker. So there's your warning. Anyway, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of different styles to work with. I think I might just go for blank. Now the only question is which speed, I guess normal? Uh, and there we go. Ah, what'd I do? So as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of chord lists up in the corner. Oh, that does not sound good. <laughs> So cheesy, gross. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to change the scale. Let's get out of that major, let's switch to a minor. <laughs> At least that's a little bit better. Now, can I change the tone? <laughs> oh no. I've only got the choice of two different guitar sounds. They sound pretty similar. At least I can put some effects onto it. That's a bit better. Maybe some heavy chorus. Oh, what? <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. Clean slap. I quite like that one. I might go for that for now. Modern dirt. Nice. Oh, no, what did I just do? Oh. is isn't actually too bad. Oh, got some palm meats going. <laughs> so I've got the choice of live recording or step recording. I think I might use live recording for this. <laughs> Hopefully I can do this. That wasn't the best. I didn't even get the first notes. Let's just put one of those in there. <laughs> okay. Apart from those little mistakes with these parts here, it actually turned out pretty decent. So let's just nudge this one a little bit. Nudge it. Wait. Oh no, I just moved the whole thing. Oh no. I think I gotta record this in again. I guess I can just step record. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so now I've just re-recorded in this riff here. I think I got it perfect. And I've also just set up to be a loop as well. So that should come in handy for when I'm trying to record in all the other instruments, which I think I'll move on to after this plays through. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Okay, now. What do we go for next? Rhythm guitar, lead guitar, bass, drums, or a keyboard? I think I might actually try out some bass. <laughs> this should be good. <laughs> nice. Wow, what other sounds does this thing have? Oh, this one's got way more. Synth bass. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, that's fat. Nice. Square. Why is it so low? Video game. Ah, yuck. I'd actually go for this synth bass smooth. That doesn't sound very good. I think I actually like that default bass more. <laughs> Still sounds pretty bad, but I think it's better than the synthesizer. Let's try recording it. Not bad at all. Ah, oh, is there any way that I can turn it down? Volume, mixer. Hey, we actually got a real mixer. Turn you down. It's about there. That's a bit better. Okay. Let's move on to some 
drums, I'm thinking. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Why'd they put the kick onto the strum bar? It seems like the weirdest place to have it. That's actually pretty fun. So I just learned something new. If you change the tilt of the guitar, it changes the velocity. Wish I knew that earlier. Which is kind of annoying for recording and drums because it means I'll have to have it upright the entire time. So I might actually do it sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what? Wow, that was horrible. <laughs> That's so bad. Now, is there any way to change the velocity after you've already recorded it in? Velocity edit. So I'll go a little something like that, go like that, press that again, press that again. Easy. Now quickly, before I move on to the next instrument, let's just quickly try some different drum kits with this drum pattern. Big room rock. No, thanks. Hip hop. Hey, <laughs> let's try that out with this beat. <laughs> Not bad. There's no velocity though. I think I might actually leave it as this one for now. That actually sounds pretty decent. Let's move on to the next instrument. So we've got a lead guitar and a keyboard left. Let's see what the lead guitar is like. Oh, we've got hammer-ons and pull-offs. Uh, this doesn't sound very good. I wish I could change the tone of this lead guitar. Maybe I should leave that till last. Let's try to do something with this keyboard. Yeah, this one's got some better tones. Guitar, synth, lead. This might be better than that other guitar lead sound. Oh, wrong key. That's kind of cool. Oh, wait. That's how you change octave. I thought that was impossible, so the tilt of the guitar changes the octave. Wow. Let's just quickly try putting some effects onto this. I think I need some reverby sound. Anyway, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and record in some guitar lead synthesizer. What? <laughs> Okay, so that lead sound sounds pretty decent, but I just learned that you can change the note type, which is really gonna help spice things up a bit. So I can put in some slides, we have some vibratos, and we also have whatever that is. <laughs> so I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time going through and putting these onto random notes. Hopefully I can actually make this sound decent. What, what's going on? Nice! Oh, that is perfect. I mean, it better be because that took me over an hour to put together. I just kept screwing up by accidentally deleting the wrong notes over and over and over again. But oh well, at least it is all done. Now, anyway, I think we can actually start arranging this song. I don't know how to do this. I've got no idea what to do. Pattern not saved, a pattern must be one measure. How do I select? <laughs> I can't figure out what to do. How do I s uh, save pattern? Pattern must be 
one, at least one measure. Uh, how do I save a pattern? I'm a dummy. <laughs> well, that was so easy to figure out. Why did it take me 20 minutes? So now I should just be able to paste my patterns in like that. I can make my song super long. Okay. This makes things easy. Okay, so I've just spent an unnecessary long amount of time arranging this song, but I think it's all finished. So anyway, here's my finished beat made in Guitar Hero. Enjoy. <laughs> So there we go, that is my finished beat made in Guitar Hero. Now, I gotta say, this is probably one of my least favorite music makers that I've ever used. Even though the beat was super simple, it still took me like eight or nine hours to put this together, which is just insane. I mean, I can't really say I'm too surprised though, considering you have to use this plastic guitar to record in absolutely everything. So yeah, I really do not recommend Guitar Hero as a music maker. And I'm just glad it's finally over. But anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So I'll see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.